the jury has found Mr. Clean guilty for killing his fish, and the sentence is life, with no aquariums. Mr. Clean has always dedicated a good portion of his time, for taking care of his fish, and although he was dedicated, but his fish were always dying, without any symptoms of any diseases. So, what really happened, and how can he make sure that you don't fall in the same mistake as Mr. Clean? As part of his dedication, Mr. Clean, and on a weekly basis, cleans his aquarium tanks, but how did Mr. Clean really clean the tanks? First, he would shut down all the devices in the tank, this includes the air pump, the filter, the water heater, and the light. The second step, would be netting out all the fish in a small bucket, where he added fresh water to this bucket. After that, he would remove all the plants, all the hardscape components like rocks and wood, then removes all the gravel. He takes everything to the bathroom, and gives everything a good thorough cleanup, of course at this point he takes care that no bleach, soap or any type of chemicals is involved in the cleanup. After cleaning all the tank components, he starts cleaning the tank itself, and finally cleans the filter, and adds new fresh biomedia, as well as filter sponges. At this step he is ready to reconstruct everything again, by adding the gravel, the hardscape, the plants, and finally adds all the devices as well as the filter. One last step, before adding the fish, where he fills the tank with new fresh water, and that's it, the fish is ready to enjoy their clean tank for another week. So, what seems to be the problem here, do you know? Mr. Clean, while doing these cleanup steps, he managed to do one terrible thing to the aquarium tank, he destroyed the nitrogen cycle completely. So, what is a nitrogen cycle and how do we really create a nitrogen cycle for the tank, or in simple words how do we cycle the tank? In nature, fish are available in large volumes of water, like rivers, and lakes, and in most of the cases, the water is renewed frequently, through running water, and rain, so any toxins, or extra nutrients in the water column, will probably be flushed out, and even if it was not flushed out from the water system, then nature already contains all the types of microorganisms, and bacteria, that will handle neutralizing such toxins, and extra nutrients. But what about the aquarium tank? The aquarium tank has a limited volume of water, even for huge tanks, it is still a limited volume of water, compared to what we see in rivers, and lakes, so having the microorganisms, and bacteria that neutralizes toxins and extra nutrients is not a luxury that the fish can live without, it is now a necessary, that must happen for the survival of the fish. And here comes what we call, the nitrogen cycle or cycling the tank, in simple words the nitrogen cycle is to introduce the beneficial bacteria, that take the extra wastes, and break them into a product that won't harm the fish. Now, let us see how this really works. When you feed your fish, the fish won't eat everything, plus they will poop into the water, and if you have natural plants, some leaves might melt and die, leaving a lot of organic material in the water. This organic material, converts to ammonia. Ammonia is toxic to your fish, and will eventually kill the fish. So, how to remove this ammonia from the water column? This happens by introducing a bacteria called Nitrosomonas bacteria, this type of bacteria breaks the ammonia into nitrites. But can the fish live with the nitrites in the water column? The answer is no, although nitrites are less harmful than ammonia, but it will also kill the fish. And, here comes the role of another bacteria, called the nitrobacter bacteria, this bacteria will convert the nitrites into nitrates, and the fish can live with the nitrates in the water column for a few days, until you remove the excess nitrates through a water change. So, after explaining the nitrogen cycle, let's return back to Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean and because of his comprehensive cleaning of the tank every week, was unintentionally destroying the nitrogen cycle, and killing all the beneficial bacteria, which are essential for the fish survival in the tank, he also added unneeded stress to the fish by moving them from into the tanks continuously. So my recommendation for you, is to avoid what Mr. Clean has done. In future videos, I will explain in more details, how to create the nitrogen cycle, plus how to clean and maintain your tank. For now check out these videos, and don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the small bell for the notifications, and let me know in the comments about what else you would like me to cover in future videos.